Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cornelia, but you can call me Corny, and this channel is Corny Co, meaning Corny Community, where I like to talk about things usually involving Japan. Here is my series for Real Love, which is a Netflix series, and it's 19 people who go on dates and get to know each other, and along the way, they are selected to divulge their secrets. I'm ready for the beach. I got my towel. Where's my sunglasses? So we're on to the second day and the boys finally get to select who they want to choose to go on a date with. So this is going to be interesting. Wait a second. Old man that likes to cross dress has gone for the girl that's in debt. What is going on? Matrix girl must be thrilled. I'm shocked. We've got Harajuku girl, aka the girl that slept with like 300 men. Golf guy from the last episode, which I said he kind of was showing it interest in her, so that makes sense. Hey, cutie girl is still getting the guys. The guy with no dream who pisses off all the girls. One that had plastic surgery, who's the host. And we've got the guy who was addicted to sex. Oldest lady has been paired up with the IT guy, the one who was cheated on by his ex-wife. I think they sue each other. And lady, as she wished, she's got the angry comedian she must be buzzing right now. Yes, girl. <laughs> Speaking of filthy mouths, she was saying in the last episode that she didn't like him because he's had terrible teeth. He's gone and chosen her. Oh no! This is gonna be a disaster. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> Ballet girl that I like. She's paired up with the guy. What the hell is he? I don't know. Who is this dude? He's cute, but I don't know who he is. Oh, he's a personal trainer, apparently. I don't know. I actually prefer her with the plastic surgery host guy. Yeah. <laughs> the caption of athlete eating slut. Like, I cannot. Anyways, this looks like a cute date, though. <laughs> I love water sports. <laughs> Wait, do I? Hey, regardless if they get along or not, or manage to woo her over, this is a fun ass date. Can I get on with everybody? Like, I want to ride the banana boat. <laughs> Come on now. This is so Japanese, but also very fair. They set up a lottery, and the lucky winner will get to sit next to her. Oh. What I do is I set up a rotation. Oh, come on, boys. Like, right, you've got 10 minutes each. I don't want to waste my chances. <laughs> you're hot as fuck. I know you fucked, but I'm still gonna want to fuck you. Did I just say that? Oh, copy and paste for the other two. <laughs> Just a douchebag like the things that he says. Well, you ain't got no status boy. Sit down. Wait. Stand up and go. あれでしょ肩書きで恋してんでしょ野球選手とかホストとかって言ってんのよ。最悪。でもそんな発言が出る背景は自分に肩書きがないから。難しいですね。選ばないとダメなんですか？I am interested in any of them. 藤井さんか神崎さんですかね。Either of you will do, but not that dude, not the one with no dream. I get it. I get it. <laughs> it's funny. How can you pull that move, girl, and bend over it and not ask me to say anything? Put it away. The host in the last episode, he actually called it out and she's gone and done the same thing. She's playing a game. <laughs> Something's off. <laughs> Everybody's reading her to filth. I clocked it, the host clocked it, and he clocks it too. It seems like it's a common all round thing. We all know that she likes to please. Do you like to please, girl? How much do you like to please? <laughs> Uh, 
you're asking a bit much for a girl to understand unless you're in that life. Nobody wants to see their partner getting their rocks off with somebody else, unless that's your kink. If anyone's been with a peace star, please let me know because I am curious. Like, how do you do it? I want to know her secret. I see that I don't want to be getting on, and she has a lot of respect for him and how he's dealt with the situation. <laughs> they say never judge a book by its cover, but I don't feel like I get her energy from her. But she seems really nice. I think hers will probably be really boring. How did that even manage that he passed her on the slide? Oh my god, she's gonna be exposed. <laughs> Guess not. You can cover up, but why are you wearing shoes on the slide? You don't need to go that far to cover up. Huh? She's getting real close. Didn't expect that. Yes, daddy. Will you get me a cocktail? I'm sorry. I Wait, so most of them are doing a fun activity, but is the activity picking her up and carrying her across the beach? I'm not confused. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, put her out of her misery. <laughs> She's very brave for saying, you know, there's people like me out here that just want to be loved. This is who I am, except me. <laughs> God, he's annoying the hell out of me, like he keeps repeating it. I'm trying not to be offensive, but some people aren't the sharpest tools in the shed. You said it, not me. <laughs> I think that's his own way for trying to like encourage her and say you are a woman right confirm it for me you are a woman because that's what I believe that's my theory I'm trying to throw him a bone here I don't know just uh, poor girl <laughs> This must be telepathy. She knew what he was trying to do. She felt the vibes and she likes him even more now. Okay. I feel so ignorant. What is scat? Each to their own, but not me. Not me. Wait a second, the zip lining. You know what? I don't think I'd mind this one because it's like half above the sea, and if you're over the sea, I feel safe. Oh, there's such sweet moments in this episode. Why you rest why is it hiked up so high? What era are we in? Is this like the 1920s? But Matrix Girl, the one that's in debt, she looks cute. A big change from what she was wearing last night. The host lady is the one to comment. All right. That's freaking sexual harassment. Guys, don't do this. You look desperate, you look thirsty, and it's gross to oogle and like, to openly oogle. <laughs> That's right, girl. Just bat them all off like the flies that they are around shit. <laughs> this man is naming everybody like pets. <laughs> I love the way she screams. The demon's out again. <laughs> How can he say 
such a bold face like guess he ain't got no disease mouth is probably diseased i ain't gonna lie <gasps> oh it's elevating to drugs we're so far behind in this one <laughs> I can see the bar and it's near the end. We ain't gonna get to hear it. I told ya. So we're gonna have to wait until episode number six. I know we love the drama, but this was kind of a nice, light little break. And just talking about the feelings. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I like to post there and that kind of acts as a second channel. You guys are so awesome. I have a great community and I'd love to add you. I'll see you in the back who haven't subscribed. You need to jump on board, join the community, join the crew. Thank you so much for watching and until next time guys, fight off, gambate, peace and love. Bye.